<laughs> awesome! I finally can try out my new suit! How do I look? It looks kinda, kinda horrifying. Yeah, that's right. Hello everybody, my name is Lazy the Shark Fox, and I have finally been to one. An actual furry convention. And not just any convention, Eurofurance. The biggest furry con in all of Europe. I have waited a long time to go to a convention like this. Zack waited even longer, I just couldn't contain him. But yeah, we both went there for an entire week. And boy do I have so much to talk about. I made so many new friends and we did loads of fun activities. So let me begin on the day of arrival. On the first day, nothing much was really happening since the con hadn't fully started yet. But after dropping our luggage in our room, we went down and saw at least 30 fursuiters or so in the lobby, just hugging, chatting and wandering around. Zack and I were just in awe to see this many suitors in one place. And the con hadn't even started yet. We mostly took a lot of pictures with suitors, went grocery shopping and got our con badges. A con badge is something you need to wear at all times so you can enter areas like the dealer's den, the main stage, the artist alley and many other areas. But I also needed to get this, my fursuit badge. This badge was required if you were suiting at a convention and wanted access to the fursuit lounge, which I will talk about later. Aside from that, we ended our first day by having dinner with a very friendly meerkat that I know, Tabo. Tabo asked us if we could drop by for dinner, so we could get to know each other a bit better, since we've mostly been talking online. It was so great to have finally met him in real life. Tabo was was very friendly and even gave us some tips about the convention itself. He even told me he had a surprise for me, but that I would see at a later time. Thanks for everything! We'll see you later around the con, I suppose? Most certainly! It was wonderful to meet you too, Laser, and uh... Laser too? It was great catching up, talking about the first day and the upcoming days that were yet to come. The next day, two of our friends arrived, Scrubby and Bruce. Now that we had assembled a small team to go around the con, we felt a lot better that we had some people around us that could guide our way, or even introduce us to some new folks. Though there was one small problem, according to Zack anyways. Because I've never met Bruce before, and I believe Zack might have hoped it would have stayed that way. Nice to meet you, my name is... So yeah, the first thing for us to do was a pretty easy decision. First suiting. In our hotel room, Scrobby, Bruce and I were getting ready to put on our suits while Zack was going to be our handler. Thank you, Zack. You're such a sweet boy. Mwah. And yeah, the next couple of hours were just amazing. We took so many pictures together, met so many new people and all was well. But hey, the convention wasn't just walking around like an animal and hugging others. It had different panels, competitions, games, a dealer hall, concerts, shows, parties, photo shoots, meetings and much much more that you could all keep track of through the Euroferns app or conbook. The convention even had its own daily newspaper with some fun facts and articles in them about what happened that day. It even had some small funny comics at the end for what you should and shouldn't do at a con. And to my surprise I was in one of those comics. The comic was about the inflatables panel. I haven't visited that panel but I can't imagine what that panel would have been like. And this was the comic. This is what Tabo meant earlier with the surprise. And all I can say is, thanks for drawing me, Tabo. There were so many things going on at this con that it was impossible for us to do everything. There were so many times we really wanted to see a show, but at the same time there was like a really cool panel going on, so sacrifices had to be made. But the first event that Zack and I went to was a panel called Your First Furry Convention. This panel was for the people who have never been to a furry con before, obviously. So Zack and I arrived at the location the panel was held at and we took some seats in the front row. The panel itself was both very informational and very entertaining. Uncle Kage, who was leading the panel, told us everything about furry cons and how you could make the experience safer and better for yourself. He was also drinking a lot. But I guess that's just him, right? Later that day, Bruce and Scrubby told us that the dealer's den was about to open in 40 minutes. Zack and I thought we had plenty of time. 
but no. We had to get in line as soon as possible, because we were not the only ones who wanted to visit the dealers then. You see, due to COVID-19, a certain amount of people were allowed in that area. So the four of us got in line and yeah, we waited for a bit, and then waited some more, and we were waiting more, and more. Okay, Google. Turn off my pacemaker. But finally, finally we got there. We showed our badges to the guard at the entrance of the hall, and now it was our turn to get inside. And it was huge. There were so many stands with comics, art, plushies, clothes, suit equipments, other stuff. It was ginormous. Okay, everyone, I think it will be best to stay together so we can slowly make our way... Oh. Yeah, uh, I see. Oh well. We scattered around the hall, which was to be expected. Everyone wants to see something different. So I just slowly made my way looking at the different stands and in just two minutes or so, I saw a stand that sold lots of different tails. Now I only had a laser fursuit head. Even though a lot of people loved it and happily took pictures with me before, it still felt a bit awkward to walk around the con without a tail. And that's when I noticed this tail. It's just like laser's tail. A big old red fox tail with some white floof at the end. Even later, I discovered these paws that fitted perfectly around my hands. Also the exact paws laser has. And even later, I saw these gigantic soft feet. And now I can happily say I have a complete partial suit. It just feels so right and awesome to wear this in combination with the head. It's amazing. As you could imagine, we had a lot of fun at the con and with a lot of people around us, it wasn't very hard to get to know some people and make new friends. I believe it was the third or fourth day or so when I stood in line to register a photo boot slot. I really wanted to go home with some amazing fursuit pictures. So there I was, standing in the registration line. And not even five minutes in, I started to get a bit bored and wanted to do some small talk with the person in front of me. But we actually ended up having full on conversations with each other. His name was Fenrir and he was a very nice guy. He told me a bit about himself, that he has been to furry cons before, that he even makes music and he has a very amazing suit. So I I showed him the back of my badge with a QR code and if you scan that code it will lead you to no, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. It would lead you to my YouTube channel. I know, shameless self-promoting here. Hi everyone who scanned my code and I'm sorry. But yeah, after lots of talking, we finally reached the registration desk for the photo booth. The guy behind the desk told us that he had only one time slot left, which means that only one of us could go inside the booth or we both would take pictures together. Fenrir and I looked at each other and agreed that we would both take the same slot. So the guy gave us the final slot stood up, walked towards the line and said that all the time slots were gone. I immediately felt kinda sorry for the many people and even fursuiters who were waiting in that line for so long. <laughs> but hey, it is how it is. I also wanted to say that everybody at the con was so friendly. Everybody was so kind, sweet and happy to help you at whatever time of day it was. A great example of that was that late at night, and I mean really late at night, I was at a rave party, having fun, dancing around in my fursuit, until I wiggled my paws around, I quickly took a look at it and could see a small rip in one of the fingers. Oh no. So I immediately went to the fursuit lounge. Remember when I talked about that second badge that I had, the fursuit badge? Yeah, with this you could enter the fursuit lounge and it is heaven. This was the place for every suitor to take off their head, sit back, drink some water in front of a giant fan and just relax. You could cool your head by putting it over one of the many windpipes and there were even salty and sugary snacks to keep yourself going. But it also featured a table that was all the way in the back with some sewing materials and tools and some super glue. Yeah, this table was for whenever a part of your suit needed to get fixed. There was only one problem, I couldn't sew or fix anything. So I just sat there trying my best, but of course with no result. Then suddenly a very friendly corgi approached me and asked me what happened. Her name was Coco. After some explaining, she looked at my paw and told me to wait a bit. After a while, she came back with someone else, a wolf with some minty colors. His name was Varro. He took a good look at my paw and said he was able to fix it for me. In just 
just a short while, my paw was as good as new. I tried on my paw again and it felt a lot better. Like nothing happened. Just so you know that this all happened in like 3 in the morning. I was just so grateful for their help and it really came through to me how incredibly kind furries can be in this community. Obviously, I had to show them my channel as well and told them they were gonna be in this video. So again, if you're watching this, Thank you so much for the help. So yeah, the con was fantastic. I made a lot of new friends, did some amazing activities, was able to suit around and took a lot of pictures. I want to thank everyone who I've met there and those who are in this video. I really hope to see you all next year. All right, guys, take it away. Thank you so much for watching! I really hope you liked this video about my first furry con experience. And I'm looking forward to go to many other fur cons in the future. Tell me in the comments what your favorite con and activity is. And there's a big chance that I'll leave a response. Also, make sure to check out all the wonderful people that were in this video. Alright everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Stay floofy! Bye now!